how about the temperature here? How do I know it's gotten drier and hotter? We're at 300 meters elevation here. The sea level is, of course, zero down there. The cops on the mountains are 1,500. We go back and forth through this all the time. So you're very aware as an animal of how much hotter it's getting. But it turns out the New York Times published a, a gadget um, three months ago, four months ago, something like that, where you could pick any place in the world. And for them, it was where you were born, okay? It's a town. So I picked Liberia. Now, I wasn't born in Liberia, but I picked Liberia in 1963 when we arrived, okay? That was the dry forest we first met in 1963. And then we track it forward, the temperature of Liberia, we track it forward through time to where we are now. In Liberia, in 1963, there were 120 days more than 90 degrees Fahrenheit. 100, 120 days, that's four months. I think 30 days for a month, okay? That's four months, 120. That's our dry season. That's January to May. That's our dry season. Now you track it forward in this global thing, or anywhere, and you do Liberia today, there are 180 days greater than 90. That's six months. So our dry season, in effect, has become two months longer. So all the guys who were depending on making it through a four-month dry season are now confronted with a six-month dry season. For some people it doesn't, for some insect species it won't matter, but for many it will. Second, a big piece of the things that are here leave at the end of the rainy season and migrate over to the other side of Costa Rica. Rainforest, they have a generation over there. When the rains come, they come back. Now, how do they know when to come back? They're timed by all kinds of cues in the system. The, rain, the dry season is now six months long instead of four months long. That means they're coming back at the wrong time. Okay. But that doesn't apply just to them. That applies to the trees when they produce their leaves, when they're going to flower, when they're going to seed. All that is food for all these animals. Your time is that you set the some combination of temperature, humidity, day length, to do your thing. Come out of a pupa, pop your buds, put your flowers out, whatever it is, those synchronies are all built into this whole system. Now you come along and you start the rainy season a week later, a month later, two weeks later. Or you do the other thing. The old days, I could win a case of beer by betting the rain, the first rain would be the 15th of May. Today, you would never dream of betting when's going to be the first day of the rains. It can be in the end of April. It can be the first week of May, the second week of May, the end of May, all through there. So all we have, all these insects are migrating back and forth, coming out of pupae from underground, coming out of their little hidey holes in response to something. And then the trees are all doing in response to something. Day length, humidity, moisture on the ground. All this stuff, the climate change has just screwed up the synchronization of these things. That's, that's, what, that's what we can see, but also we know is going on because we understand the synchronization. The little details of when, when the first Alopos Titan comes over here to lay its eggs on Janipa leaves, and it's been up there in the mountains all for the dry season, comes down here and says, are the leaves nice? He expanded big new leaves, right, for to have put your egg on, or are they still a little bud? Yeah. And, uh, and they say, well, we'll just wait around, you know, the moth can just wait around for a week or two until the leaf expands. That's two weeks of being exposed to predators before you lay your eggs. I mean, it's, 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 the, the complications in this system are huge. And um, uh, so what do we feel is that the, the insect community here is taking a really heavy hit from that. Now, um, from that lack of synchronization, as well as the absolute change in temperature, as well as the absolute burning off of the clouds on the top. So 50 years from now, there will not be any cloud forest on top of these volcanoes. 